Okay, Bonnie, here's your video. This is our 2013 open range 305 bunkhouse model. This is an ultralight model. So it's got the aluminum frame fiberglass walls siding. So you've got a power jack, that's where your propane tanks and battery are. You got some max air fans on the top, which are nice because you can leave your fan open and no water can come in. So you can get always fresh ventilation and no water. This is a storage bin on the outside. So you can put lawn chairs and things in there. This unit has a nice big power awning. So it needs a bit of a bath. So when this unit goes home, we'll have that cleaned. So this is our this is our open range. So it's got dual axle. Um, there's a nice glass door. We've got some steps and a big wide handle going in. Nice thing about this unit, it's a four season protection package. So you can see uh, spring, summer, winter, and fall. Outside, we do have some connections for plugins, cable. And out here, let me open this up. So this is a nice covered area and it's a four piece kitchen. You do have another kitchen inside this unit, but on nice days, why would you cook inside? Hang on a second here. So we have a two burner. Look at this, it doesn't even look used. Little tiny bit. Stainless steel sink. We've got some marine grade speakers up here. So your sound system outside or inside, you can feed through the outside. A little storage drawer and a nice size outdoor fridge. That's handy. So we'll put that away later. So out back here, this is under the bunk room. You get an extra additional storage for whatever you need. Christmas decorations. Or... It's got a walkable roof so you can see your ladder. So you can get up there and check your seals. You need to check your seals a few times a year. And read caulk up there. If not, get someone in and hire someone to do that. It's easier to fix those uh, before it's got water intrusion. Just do the maintenance. So in here is our power water sewer. We've got... Here, let me put the clip on, hang on. So in here, we've got extra power. You can always run cords through here. Underneath here is a feeding hole. So if you wanted extra extension cords and run them down, so you can close this, keep it nice and dry. We have a hot and cold outdoor shower. So if you have a dog, you can hook up your shower. Obviously you can feed your, this is neat, down through the, here so you can wash bins you can wash your dog you can cool your feet down and then there's the city connection your hose connection all your power water sewer this also has power stabilizing jacks most of them on these trailers are manual so this this guy's got upgraded front and back power so here's our super slide it is equipped with a slide topper keeps all the debris Keeps our seals nice and dry. Down here is our tank drains, our front jacks. And then under here, you can see it's an enclosed underbelly. I'm not sure if you can see that. Being an all season protection package, you're gonna have designated heat, good insulation. So this won't uh, have your tanks freeze up on you. Now we're gonna go inside. So a huge horseshoe couch, a couple of freestanding tables you can Put these however you like, move them around. Got a couple brochures here, so those of you that want to see the quality, 
can kind of come on by and have a look. That's a two-way fridge. So that's propane, liquid propane and gas. So there's your freezer. They've left some paper bags in here. Oh, the lids are moisture, not too sure. We'll throw those out. And we're going to detail the unit. We're going to run it through an inspection. Going to get it all cleaned up. So there's your entertainment center. It doesn't come with a TV, but you can put a TV in the living room, master bedroom, and in the bunk room behind me. Over here by your door, here's all your instrument panels. So... What do we got here? So gas, electric. We've got all of our lights, black tank. We've got a couple slide buttons here. That's how you retract and take your awning in. So I'm gonna be taking that back in now. And uh, look at, you got an inside microwave, outside microwave. It's got air conditioning. There's your open range RV company. This is a 305 bunkhouse. And then uh, you got a nice pots and pans drawer. Got an oven, cook three burners here with the extra two outside. A little microwave, there's room to put cookbooks or, or casserole dishes up top. Nice deep drawers. This is a stainless steel sink. They've got the solid sink cover, so you can use that for prep area if you need be. That's stainless steel, not possible. But you get lots of them. This is for your little sponges, SOS pads. What do we got in here? They've left some moisture grab grabbers and dry air. These I think you use when you're not in the trailer. And here's our set of keys for you. And then of course, you'll see the vents too on the side rather than on the floor. So it's pretty easy to sweep it out and you don't have to stare at all the dust bunnies in your... You can see they're all reinforced doors, so they'll withstand usage. The over tucked behind the kitchen is the pantry. So look at that. I'm going to back out so you can see. we got lots of storage there. Really nice kitchen. And then we have these as well. So these lift up, not out, so you don't smack your head if you leave one open. These are just push button lights. Get a couple of those in here. So this is your to run your fans, your, your AC or your heat. You can just see, you just select your mode. Furnace. There we go. And now in your own room, you got a bedroom on either side. It's got a little bit of carpet in here. So this has got three little bunk beds. So I'll step in so you can see. And it's got a max fan. This is what a max fan does. So you can open this to get fresh ventilation, but if it rains, it's got an extra max vent on top of your little vent. So it doesn't get full of leaves and spiders and just all that kind of stuff you stare at. A few little things get in here, but not like if you didn't have one, it's always you're cleaning it out. So there's the little bed. All these windows open, so you get great ventilation in here. There's your little sleeper there, and then there's the little guy here. You got a nice little lower bunk. You got a nice ladder. Underneath here is open storage. Oh, what's this? Another little light. 
And then we have a drawer and a wardrobe. And there's room for a TV or this hookup. So if you needed a TV, you can put one in here. Yeah. No TVs come with this unit. Now this is the master bedroom. Oh, before I go in there, I'm gonna show you this door. So for the people that are using the bunk room, you have access through this door. You use the bathroom. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Another max air vent over your vent here. This is a queen bed. There is walkable space around it. You can, so it makes it easier to make this bed. And you do have plugins and another end table. You get a bigger end table on that side. And then I'll show you in here. So in here, you've got Room to put a basket for, I don't know, socks or whatever you want, shoes. There's a hanger system in here. And of course, it's a for the mirror. Hello, this is Tanya. 250-886-6589. And then we've got a drawer or a cupboard here our sink that mirror is fixed to the wall the shower is nice and big show you the shower it's got a skylight in here and then in here this is nice you get oodles of storage in here you need that in the bathroom for all your stuff and then there's another storage guy in the corner and there's room to pop things on top that one. this is a pocket door on this side Thanks for watching.